What's going on guys, Andy here, cut and clean, lawn care, you know the deal. And I would like to share with you guys how my morning is starting off with something like this. So I pulled my mower out of the garage this morning to kind of get under the deck and scrape it out. And when I fired the mower back up on the PTO, the belt just shredded. It got tangled up in everything. Yeah, and if I wouldn't have been able to find the parts I needed today, old Skag V-Ride would have went on an adventure mowing today. But luckily I found it. And real quick, I want to give a shout out to Carney Lawn and Rental in Carney, Missouri. They had the belts I needed in stock, which is super awesome, man. Like I always say, dealer support is very open and important when it comes to purchasing machines like this. You got to protect that investment. Shout out to the guys at Carney Lawn and Rental. If you're in that Liberty Carney area, go by there, man. I'm sure those guys are going to have what you need. Because on top of the belts, I went ahead and got a case of new blades as well, too. So let's get this belt back on the mower and hopefully get to mowing. And something that I do when I'm putting these belts on, I loosen the spring tensioner quite a bit. That way I'm not forcefully having to rotate this belt around a pulley, pinching my fingers and stuff like that. A few cranks with a wrench, loosening that, and it takes a lot of that pressure off the system. Hopefully I can get the camera just to chill here for a little bit. As you can see how I've loosened this to take pressure off of the tension. I just take a pair of pliers just to hold this from wanting to rotate non-stop and we tighten her back up now that i got the belt all re-ran let's just hope i did it right Looks like it's functioning all right to me. All right, now that the new belt is on, I think I am ready to go, even though I'm about three hours late. Sorry, Skag, you don't get to go today. Gravely fixed. And the biggest thing I always try to keep from stuff like this is no factor, not a problem. Don't get worried, it's not worth stressing about. It happened first thing in the morning. So luckily I wasn't out on a property when this happened. So there's always pros and cons to it. Yesterday being Monday, I got halfway into my Tuesday schedule through the evening. So I'm about right where I need to be. Missing this three hours in the morning makes up to what I did yesterday. So luckily I was able to go above and beyond what I would normally be doing. Just nice, cool, calm, collective day. It's not hot. I'm able to keep going, being productive. So when stuff like this throws a curveball. Luckily, I was able to get ahead of it yesterday to the point I'm pretty much where I need to be. Uh, let's finish getting this stuff up on the trailer and get to mowing. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know when I first started out doing this stuff in business, every little minor thing was the end of the world. It didn't matter what it was. Flat tire, belt snapped, this happened, end of the world. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Dude, it's not a big deal. You just find the belt, get it on there. If you can't get it on there, if you do have a backup mower, I could have took this thing out mowing all morning, but I wanted to go ahead and get the problem fixed. It's not a big deal. So, stay calm. Don't get all worked up about small problems. Let's get to mowing, guys. Monday, Monday Tuesday, 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 Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my workday. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite lures and they're loaded in my pack. All that stress that's in my body's always driving me insane. When I'm reeling in that buzzbait, it just seems 
seems to go away Now you see fishing ain't a habit, it's a passion in my souls When I'm casting and I'm smashing all these bass that are on my pole Now for a minute or an hour, if I'm fishing then I'm fine I just only need a second when I'm wetting up a line So if the weather's super crappy or you might be stuck inside Search G4 Outdoors YouTube online But as I look up and I ask Definitely one of the fun ones. It stripes up really good. It's got a long looping sidewalk that I always try to use the edger on instead of the weed whip or string trimmer or trimmer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I can totally edge that whole thing with a trimmer, but issues of being a solo owner operator, guys, I want to get rid of the least fatigue as possible. So if I'm nonstop on the weed whip and contorting my body to edge all this stuff, it's gonna play a factor towards the end of the day. I'm gonna get tired, I'm gonna be worn out. So if I just use the edger and just do a nice casual walk, it doesn't put any wear and tear on me at all. And I'm more productive throughout the day, which is something I've definitely noticed and I'm a big fan of because I don't got no one running a trimmer for me. So I need as much energy throughout the day as possible. But let's keep moving on, see if we get into something else, guys. I just bought a mower off the lot. I got a good price on the cost. I gotta put it back in my garage. I just dug my toe on a box. And you know it hurt like a lot. I'ma mow up this whole damn field. I'ma do it with a gravely. Yo, I'm back to the future when I flow. Y'all be rubbing like an 80. I send invoices control. Use a cash app if they do not pay in full. Make it slap, slap. Sell my soul That's a fact jack If y'all really wanna mow Use a grass flat See if I just sat back At the grass pad Got my gravel super clean Like a Cadillac When I'm mowing all this grass I never bag that See you gotta work smart You gotta work hard People try to diss me I work harder Build my business for my son With no daughter How when I'm mowing I always drink water A lot of people out here Mowing quit stalling I done striped every lawn That we be on Everybody loving me In the lawn season Do the YouTube game Cause it's mad Keep talking trash and you better run We got the fart, killing, weed, mix, makes, neighbors, speech, lips The best lawn care too, you got the key to the city with the dopest rhymes And you'll never see him quite just by the mow of the lot I got a good price on the cost, I gotta put it back in my garage I just put my toe on a box, and you know it hurt like a lot I'ma mow up this whole damn field, I'ma do it with a gravely You want back to the future when I flow, you'll be rapping like you 80 I send invoices control, use a cash app if they do not pay in full Like a slap slap I would never sell my soul That's a fact jack If y'all really wanna mow Use a grass flap What's that? I'll tell you what guys, the sun started to come out And the fat guy is starting to sweat That's for sure Yeah guys, that property right there is pretty fun to mow I can only really go two patterns On the front with that side hill I don't know if it picked up in the camera But that hill's pretty epic something I've learned throughout my years. When you're having to do some of those hills, especially with a stander, prevent from having to go casters 
down because once you start going you have no choice if i go down casters going straight forward i'm going to go through that fence on the side there since the hill is that epic i turn around and go down it backwards you're going to have more control more stability with the machine it's not going to want to slide and get away from you as it would with casters down so when you're doing big hills like that try to do it backwards if you can also a pretty gnarly hill in the back i don't know if the camera really does it justice or not but yeah, I only got a couple patterns I can do over there too, because if it's a little wet, I start sliding and going towards that fence at the bottom. Not that fun, but it stripes up and it looks really, really good. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. I just kind of wanted to talk about some of the little odds and ends struggles that get us all kind of worked up. Show a little bit of mowing today. I got a lot more I still need to do. But I really just wanted to film a couple properties for you. The main goal of today... It was just to make a video on this channel, man. It's been a while since I made a video. Andy's been kind of working on Andy, trying to figure things out. Just learning, man. Learning more about life. Uh, kind of absorbing a lot of information and trying to be a better person all around. Something I've been doing. If you want to see more of me, make sure you go over and subscribe to G4 Outdoors. I'm on there all the time, man. That's a big passion of mine is the outdoors, fishing, things like that. This big guy right here was 15 and three quarters inches. Giant slab crappie full of eggs. So if you want to hang out with me more, definitely go subscribe to G4 Outdoors. I'm on there fishing. You can come hang out with me on the boat, catching crappie with my son, with Randy, with everybody. Like I say, I got like 15,000 subscribers on Cut and Clean Lawn Care. And I would love to see a good chunk of you guys go over to G4 Outdoors and hang out with me on there as well. Like I said, it's something I'm really passionate about. If you guys are in it for me on my journey of whatever I'm doing, I would love to see you guys over there. But like I said in the beginning, let's end this with a... Just don't sweat the small stuff, man. Life's got too much stuff going on. My wife's been diagnosed with lupus and some other stuff that she has going on. So she's been struggling. She's been beating herself up in the head, kind of, you know, getting used to whatever this is. And uh, yeah, like I'm saying, there's just so many other things going on in life. A flat tire, a busted belt, an employee not showing up, whatever it is for you guys. It's not the end of the world, man. There's so much more important things. So as I coast through the rest of my day, the one important thing for me when I get home, I'm gonna hang out with my family, man. I'm gonna eat some crappie, I'm gonna fry up some crispy nuggets, I'm gonna hang out with a wife, I'm gonna hang out with a son, have a great evening. Might even play with some wrestling action figures, who's no. So like always, guys, if it's your first time kind of checking my channel out, please hit the subscribe button, man. It helps me out. Growth means a lot for me, man, and I love the interaction with all you guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's small little video. Leave a comment down below if you got something to say. If you got something positive, there's a good chance a guy's going to pin it up to the top for everyone to see it. But yeah, I got to continue getting this done. I'm actually starting to work on Wednesday stuff, and that's what I was talking about earlier. I'm not going to get all beat up about it. Broken belt, man. I'm not going to be like, oh, Tuesday's done. No, it's what? Four o'clock? Four o'clock, and I'm already into starting my Wednesday stuff. So, yeah, man. You just put your head down. You go. You get stuff done, and you just keep working, man. That's all there is to it. Like I said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I will have more videos coming soon. But until then, I'm out. You guys have fun. Check your body. Check your body. Check your body.